What's up, Flower Fam? I'm Ace Berry, the December Mayesh Design Star. Man, it is the last one for the year, and we are gonna go out with a bang. Now, I know you see all this Christmas stuff behind me, and you're probably really thinking that we are going to do a very basic centerpiece or something for Christmas with our traditional colors, but you know, that's just not me. We're gonna do something extra, and today we're actually going to do this. In 2023, Mayesh is prioritizing sustainability. This design today is 100% sustainable. So the vessel is a gold urn from Accent Decor. The log is 100% forged by myself out of the Cipolo right outside of San Antonio. And it's just water and Oasis design mesh. The actual flowers that we're using, they are from pretty much all over the world. But there's one actual rose in here that you can only buy at Mayesh, which is this is gorgeous, gorgeous cafe latte. So now that we've talked mechanics and we've talked flowers, now we're fixing to talk design. What I'm starting with is this gorgeous pine bough. I'm gonna cut it at a diagonal angle and then we're gonna insert into this, really strengthening this line already. And this is how we're gonna start this whole design. So we pull our greens in. What we're using is pine, it's flat cedar, and then I'm also using some of this noble fir to give us different scents and textures through this entire design. I also have gorgeous magnolia. Mayesh does a great job of bringing in the prettiest product. Now, what's awesome is you can already see how big this design is gonna be. The smell, sight, touch, all of these things are key elements to selling large designs. You wanna bring people in, you wanna entice them with their eyes and their smell. So now that we have all of our greens into this arrangement, we're gonna go in with our hydrangea. What we're gonna do is we're gonna tuck it into these deep spots to where their stems are all going into the water and through the chicken wire, nice deep in this vessel. It's just very, very solid. We're gonna add in other things like this lilac. I'm not going to polka dot everything. What I'm gonna do is I'm putting in big moments where everything is kind of grouped together. I love the way they smell, I love the way they look. I love the texture of them but I like them when they're all grouped together, just like this, where it gives you this nice big moment. And you can see where I'm just kind of tucking in and around the front part of this log, because I don't want to lose this nice smoothness of that. We're gonna add that in. So the next thing we're actually gonna go in with is these gorgeous brownie tulips. I mean, how stunning are these? These are actually from the Mayesh Dutch box lot. So I'm gonna tuck this. That. We're gonna go in two at a time. And I'm also peeling them down as I go. I love the way it smells. That lilac is warming up, so it's giving like the best fragrance. And like I said, we wanna entice people with the smells and the sight. And we have more tulips that we're gonna go in with shortly. What else should we go in with, guys? Let's see. Ah, the Scotch broom. Giving it more texture, give it a little bit of draping. And again, you can kind of see what I'm doing is everything is going in in groups. The bigger the groups, the better the visual impact. It's going to give your eye a little spot to rest later. And while you're taking in all these different textures and moments of this design. The one I really can't wait to insert next is we're going to do some probably hanging bleached hanging amaranthus. It actually comes in from the Dutch line also. But I mean, how stunning is this? Now, the cool thing about art is a lot of artists break the frame. Right now, my frame would be my vessel, and I want to break them and merge the two together. So typically what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert the hanging amaranthus here, and I want it to hang right next to it. So it literally will pull your eye completely down and back up into the arrangement. And then we're going to start adding in all of our roses and different textures. Uh, I'm gonna start with Barista. So you're gonna see, I'm gonna give it a good fresh cut and I'm literally inserting all into the same area. Now we're gonna have a front and a back. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna spin open one of these cafe lattes after I get rid of the thorns so I don't poke myself a billion times. Guys, the struggle is real when it comes to dethorning uh, these roses. They are pointy. And I have two or three bunches of these guys so I'm gonna insert a whole bunch of them in one spot. 
really adding into this visual interest. And you can kind of see how it's ombreing away from that barista into this other kind of chocolatey tone. And the next thing we're gonna go in with is these awesome cappuccinos. This rose is one of my absolute favorites. The way it just accentuates, I love like, I know a lot of people will peel it down and get rid of the red edges. I love that. I love the way it looks. I love the way it smells. I love the way it works. I'm actually gonna go in right now with this gorgeous cymbidium. We're gonna elongate it right here to make a visual interest through the design and through the log kind of. We're also gonna reflux all of our sim blooms to make it look bigger and showier. And don't worry, we're gonna add in more roses as we go, but right now we're gonna add in all of our scabs right here and let them dance above this design. So I'm gonna add in a lot more of these cafe lattes, the cappuccinos, and also this barista, pulling this all this design together so it literally will have lines this way with baristas, this way with the cafe lattes, and this way with the cappuccinos. But while I'm doing that, we're actually gonna talk a little about uh, brand partnerships. What brand partnerships are, it can be really honestly anything. It can be large installs, it can be events, it can be anything where a person or a brand is going to give you a budget to create something for them. The first thing that you really need to know about brand partnerships is you can't be afraid to put yourself out there. You are a brand yourself. And that's like the coolest thing. You have to trust yourself creatively. You have to trust who you are as an artist. And then there's like the biggest thing that I think that really helped me was having a social media kit. It was literally a digital portfolio of what the collabs that I've done and who I am, my analytics. You can make one yourself. What I personally did was had a social media manager make mine for me. The cool thing about brand partnerships is they have the budget to pay you to create awesome stuff. So take like what we're designing right now. Could you see this in front of like in a lobby or outside of a really high-end restaurant or at any type of really cool event? All these cafe lattes are freaking stunning. So this is how I went after my first brand partnership. And honestly, what it was was a brand that I was already wearing. I literally DM them and I said, hey, you don't have anyone like me creating content for you. And I would love it if you gave me a chance. And I sent them a couple pictures of what I thought we could do with flowers that they never had seen. And next thing you know, I was getting hats and they were paying me to create content for them with flowers, which is the thing that I already loved and I was already doing. Get on LinkedIn, literally find those people, find the brands that you really wanna work with and find their marketing people, their PR people and message them. Give them your idea. My whole life changed with one DM on Instagram. So back to this design. Now we're gonna go in with these gorgeous white phalos. We want this to kind of drape out just enough where it kind of hides, but it also pops. And now we're actually gonna go in with our, this is one of my favorite flowers, which is monkey tail. So monkey tail is actually leather leaf before it's leather leaf. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shape this monkey tail and you can kind of see what I'm doing is I'm warming up the fibers with my hand to get it to kind of have a nice little movement where I can elongate. Gives you that nice visual impact. We're gonna go in with a whole nother bunch on the other side and pulling everything together with these monkey tails. So I'm adding in this mint to really add into the smell of vision. I wish you could smell it. It's literally the most intoxicating fragrance. I love the smell of it. I love it when it's in design. It honestly takes me back to when I'm on a beach, I'm drinking a mojito or any of those kind of moments where you think of like being refreshed and just having a good time and just being with friends and family and things like that. We're gonna add in a few more of the cappuccino roses because I have all of my cappuccinos in that back section. I wanna add in a few right here at this front moment. So the final two things that we're actually going to add into this beautiful arrangement is we're gonna actually use some of these Lynette uh, spider bums, and we're also gonna use some of this bleached fern. This bleached fern will help pull the white from the orchids and the lilac and the hydrangea, and Lynette will bridge all of the colors together. And it's giving it a little height for us, finally. 
how she pulls this beautiful line. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. You need to be like this. Now we're gonna go in with this gorgeous fern, and that's gonna bridge our whites, our lilac, our hydrangea, and our orchids. And look at that, it kind of gives it like the nice little feathery look. Look how pretty it is, guys. The visual appeal to this design is out of this world. I am absolutely mesmerized by it. I wanted you to see who I was as an artist, as a designer, and it all starts with this big piece right here, this big piece of cedar stump driftwood. It literally gives you this moment of like, you see it and it's like this smooth kind of roughness that it has, and then it goes into this lush flower filled moment. You could put this anywhere. You could put it in so many different spots. You could literally send it to brands to say, hey, let me create this for your Christmas or your holiday campaigns. Let's put this into that. I wanna see more florists get their day in the sun. I wanna see them collide their passion with flowers and also make a little extra money doing it. We have the absolute best jobs in the entire world. And guys, thank you for watching. And remember the biggest thing I can tell you is never give up on your daydream. And Mayesh, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for making my dreams come true. And guys, we'll see you next time, 2023. Peace.